They say it's hard to plan for the future. Leaders with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet are tired of extensions being made to the federal surface transportation law. Every time you fill up at the gas pump, part of the money goes to that fund. But there's uncertainty about how long that fund will last, and that could impact drivers. Miranda Combs investigates broken roads. There are roads you know like the back of your hand, the ones you hit at the same time every day. They are part of your routine. You know they will be there. Certainty is a big thing, and what we have had is uncertainty. The U.S. Department of Transportation says 34% of Kentucky roads are in poor or mediocre condition. The state says the number of what they classify as poor roads is more like 17 percent. If it's asphalt, it needs to be resurfaced, or if it's concrete, it needs to be what's called it needs what's called diamond grinding. Those are the roads at the top of the repair list. The states are being reimbursed for what they've already spent. But that list is in jeopardy of expanding because the state can't fix what it can't afford. You lay out millions of dollars, and you're counting on getting reimbursed for it. If the reimbursements get disrupted, which has happened, uh, then that really uh, can put a state in a bind. Kentucky Transportation spokesperson Chuck Wolf says money you pay at the pump, 18.4 cents per gallon for gasoline, goes to the federal motor fuels tax. It's been that way for 22 years. The Congress has lurched. Uh, from one short term authorization to another or extension of the whole federal surface transportation system. And that's where the instability comes in. What has happened time and time and time again is that the rather than reauthorizing a whole new program, they've just extended the program maybe just for a few months uh, at a time, which really plays havoc with the states uh, as far as their planning. And what they can count on. And another short term extension was just put in place this month. Congress pushed the issue down the road another three months. Wolf says without a long term fix, there's always a fear on the state level that the federal tax could expire. That would be disastrous for. Uh, for the transportation system that we all rely on. That tax alone makes up a large portion, a third of the state's total road construction program. Any disruption of that uh, has a kind of almost a seismic effect uh, through the rest of the budget. Right now, Wolf says road projects haven't been delayed, but with the current climate, it's being actively considered. You know, a year ago, we were, we were on pins and needles for the, we were right where we are now. Uh, we were on pins and needles as, about whether uh, Congress would get uh, something passed. Wolf says there is currently active consideration to delaying some resurfacing projects in the state as well as other construction projects. However, none of those projects have been identified yet. Arkansas recently pulled $350 million worth of projects due to uncertainty about federal funding. Miranda Combs, WKYT. And this latest extension of the federal surface transportation law will last until October 31st.